Hey there folks, Tip here, Stupid Gardener. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Well, I think today we're going to plant some more uh, cucumbers. Um, I was at the local box store and uh, they had these cucumber plants and they had them marked down a little bit. So I thought, well, I might as well buy some of these. So I bought three of them. Um, this one here is a purplish high hybrid. And I think these are some straight eights. And also I found some extra seed in the house that I had. And uh, these are straight eights uh, also. So I just thought we would um, go over today about um, using all the space you can in your garden. And um, as you can see, this is where we planted our thornless blackberry uh, bush um, on our last video. And um, I got all this empty space behind there. So I figured, you know, I might as well uh, put something there and just see if I can get it to grow up here in July and into August and hopefully into September. Um, now we've got plenty of uh, cucumbers in our uh, main raised garden bed, but I just figured, well, let's just try and see if we can grow some um, in here. Um, and I've got all that space back there, so this is a good time um, to uh, plant these and get these in the ground and then get the seed planted. Um, now, I'm going to have to um, build a little uh, fence around here because uh, we have three or four rabbits running around the backyard here and I don't want them to get in here. Um, they kind of use behind here as a little little highway where they kind of run along the fence and everything and they come right down behind here. So I'm gonna have to put a fence up just to keep them out of there because I don't want them um, getting in here and attacking these uh, plants. Um, so I went and bought some T-posts and um, I have some netting over here that I'm gonna put around. Um, so, but you could, could come along and we'll get these planted in and uh, put up our netting and uh, We'll see what happens over the next uh, couple of months here with our um, cucumbers. So, why don't you come along? Okay, um, so this is where I'm gonna plant this one here. Um, and like I said, I got these on um, Markdown and uh, they look like they're in pretty good shape. The leaves seem a little bit dry, but they probably just need some water. Although it is kind of moist, but, uh, so we'll just get this into the ground, get it into some good soil here. So let me dig down here a little bit here. In this area here where I'm putting it, this is all on top here, it's all 100% compost. So I know there's good soil here, but once you get down, you get into the regular soil, which really isn't all that bad because uh, this is where we had some of our compost bins before. So I know there's good soil down here and good worms and everything. So let's let me get that in there a little bit deeper here. Yeah, that should be good here. Yeah, that should be good. And let me, I'm gonna throw a little compost down the bottom here just to give it some good soil to root up in. And I have some nice compost tea that I made the, uh, last night, so I'm gonna Fill this hole up with some here and that'll really give it a good shot to give it some good uh, some good juice and let's take a look at this yeah see that's really that's probably been there a while and you can see how root bound that is so I want to really want you really want to loosen that up that's probably why it was marked down but that's still good and that's you know that that's good soil that's in there but you can see it all how root bound this thing is so let's get this in here we get some nice compost around that. So that'd be good. We'll get this thing to grow up this trellis here. Really get it going here. Let me put some nice compost tea around here. Yeah. She should be okay. Trough here. I'll come back here probably later on this afternoon tonight and put some more water on here. But I'm just going to repeat this for those three. And then also I have that seed that I'm going to, you know, kind of put down along this. I'm not going to put a lot down because that stuff really germinates. And maybe we can get this whole thing all filled up with uh, some nice cu cucumbers over the next couple of months. 
Oh, let me get back here and finish up. Okay, so we got our uh, a three cucumber plants in. And I got the seed down here, along here. So we'll just see what happens over the next couple of months. And they're gonna soak up some good sun this afternoon. And I'll probably put some more water on these a little bit later when the sun gets off these. But hopefully we get a another uh, whole round of some nice cucumbers growing back here. Okay, so we have everything up. And um, as you can see, we got like a two foot fence that I uh, put around here. And uh, this should keep the rabbits out. And it's small enough that I can step over there. Cucumbers start growing. I'll be able to uh, pick them, you know, for pruning and everything. I'll be able to get it in and out uh, very um, easily. Um, but um, as long as the rabbits stay out of here, um, we'll be okay. In fact, there's a rabbit right down behind the camera going along the uh, side of the house. So they're already out here. Uh, but uh, it's good to have them out here. I got a lot of clover in the yard and they really like to, you know, go in there and just chew on that uh, cloak on, on the clover, but I don't want them in, into our garden because they'll just tear everything up. So, uh, but I think this is a good spot that we have here. Um, it's going to get late morning sun and because the, the sun kind of comes up, you know, from back here. It's hitting me right now and it kind of comes around here. And um, so all through the afternoon, it's going to get great sun. Um, you can tell by the size of these um, uh, sunflowers I have back here. They're like almost uh, a good lord about seven, eight foot tall. So uh, it's getting some good sun. So we, we should be okay here. Um, but uh, very happy um, that we're um, able to um, get these planted in here. Um, it'll give us another um, kind of prolong our growing season here in uh, North, North Carolina. Uh, we, we love um, the cucumbers and we're gonna get a lot more from here. Um, my wife, uh, Sweet Pea, um, in the house there was uh, cutting up one of our green peppers that we uh, we got for the garden and she said just the, the smell of that green pepper when she was cutting it and she said you know the smell when she's cutting up you know the cucumbers and the tomatoes and uh, zucchini she just says this that's a smell that you really don't get from the uh, vegetables that you're uh, buying in the uh, grocery store and that's because what we got here it's pretty much 100% um, organic and it's just fresh and it is so good for you it is so good good for you better than what you can get into the uh, grocery store so uh, but uh, i want to thank everyone for watching uh, just a quick video and um, if you're not a subscriber you know stop what you're doing and um, hit that subscribe button and uh, just follow along with us you know over the summer and see how our garden grows we got some good videos coming up um, on our raised garden bed and our flowers and everything so uh, just stay tuned and uh, don't forget, we are on Instagram. It's the.stupid.gardener. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, The Stupid Gardener. We're, we're picking up some followers there, so that's great. Um, and uh, just tune in there, because we put up pictures of everything that we are um, doing out here. Uh, kind of goes along with our uh, YouTube channel. So if you're a subscriber to our YouTube channel, you know, hop on over to uh, The Stupid Gardener channel. So, um, but I guess I will sign off from here. I want to thank everyone for watching. And uh, just stay tuned for our upcoming videos. So I guess I will take off from here. Everyone take care. God bless everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help the stupid gardener get to a thousand subscribers.